Good morning, fellow knitters. My name is Jean. I am a knitter and I'm just about done with the typing. Yay! There's a couple of things I have to comment about about my project. Project. Project, if you're in Canada. I'm not, by the way. And Oh, thank goodness, I decided that there were two things that were not working with my charting. Number one, the knitter's graph paper is actually too small for me to see comfortably. So that was one of the things. And the other was I found my favorite pencil and could erase a mistake instead of having to start all the way over. Oh, that's so useful. And having not used graphing software, I have dun, 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 finished that horrible chart. Yay, I'm not going to wave it about because it's an answer to one of the questions that's significant. And yes, I love you all dearly, but I'm not giving you free answers. <laughs> However, what I am working on after having practiced and practiced and redone gauge swatches. Yes, I've barely gotten started with this, but I am started. And I have to keep very careful count of my rows. Um, being distracted is not a good thing here. You have to keep count of your rows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a counting chain. I love this thing. It has its setbacks. You do have to get used to it, but you can find them with all these fancy numbers and doodads and, and beads and things that hook on them. But I went to Lassis in Berkeley and the counting chain that I received from Lassis at a modest price. Here we have information, Lassis. They've sold needlework supplies for about as long as I have ever known about Lassis, way back in the 80s, I think. Um, it used to be you had to get a physical paper catalog to order, but they got over that. Now, here we have one end of my counting chain, which has a gold ring on it, and then it has a number of metal black rings, and then it ends with another gold, all gold rings. <clears throat> the directions are quite simple. The nine gold rings represent single units, one through nine. The nine black rings are units of 10, 10 through 90. The single bottom gold ring is 100. Okay, there, or zero. So gold rings are the ones I work with most often. This particular counting chain is good up to about a size four knitting needle. I, in a fit of I don't know what, made a tiny one by just putting together a bunch of jump rings with the nine gold and the 10 black and the one extra gold. Um, the problem with that is that the joins are a little rough and tend to snag. The rings from Lassis don't have joins for the rings. They only have joins for the units between the rings. And those are quite smooth and very, very well made. So in order to use this, I'm actually on row two. I am not on row one. So I should be using a different camera, but one ring out, one ring, so I'm on two. So one ring will hang down. 
What I love about this particular counting system is it's built into your knitting. Now, if you're not paying attention and you don't slip it correctly, you can knit it into your knitting, which is its only downfall. But you slip it like a stitch marker every time you change, you go through the row. So you don't have to pick it up and put it down. You don't have to remember it. You don't have to write anything. You just, this is the beginning of my row and the rows that I am repeating are knit two, make one, knit two together through back loop, knit one, knit two. Now comes the make one, which is a trick and a half because you really have to know which piece of yarn you're trying to pick up and that's the correct one. And then knit two together through back loop. Poof, I've done it. I'm not counting my repeats. I'm on row two. So I have the second ring, silly me, hanging down from my knitting. Normally I don't do things like that with my knitting. So I've got this chain hanging down. But because I have this chain hanging down, I know exactly where I am. So then I knit two. And I make one. And then knit two together through the back loop. Ta-da! That's all I have to do. When I get to the next round, I slip to the next ring and I know I'm on row three. <laughs> I do not have to pick anything up. I don't have to put anything down. I just know where I am. Now for this particular pattern, I'm only going through rows one through four multiple times, changing colors. So I don't have to worry about 14, but say I get to the end of the nine gold and then I pick up one of the silver, that's 10, and then I do 11 by picking up a gold and that one silver, which makes 11. Then I move to gold two and the same silver, which makes 12. I love this system. I love this system. I love this system. Unlike markers that sit at the end of a knitting needle, which won't work for a person who uses double pointed needles or um, ring counters, or clicky counters or any other kind of counter. When you get to the end of the row, you have to stop and remember to do something. You don't have to remember with a chain row counter because it sits there in your knitting and says, bingo, yoo-hoo, here it is, the end of a row. And you must then say, oh, here I am at my row counter. I'm at the end of a row. Let me boop, pick up the next one and keep knitting. And you can even just pick up the next one and keep knitting. You don't stack up nine rings on your needle. You drop one off and pick the other up. But you can do it. The most you ever have is two. So you get to 199 and then you have to like pay attention. But anytime you have to do 200 rows of something and count it, something's not right. <laughs> he should be measuring, not counting. Or there should be some kind of pattern in there. But chain row counters, why are we using anything else? I don't understand. I just want to spread the word. I think they are like better than sliced bread because, you know, I do own a bread knife. 
And in the background, you can hear my puppy. He's already gone outside once. I am in kind of crisis mode because, well, not crisis mode. I'm just kind of whiny and complaining mode. Husband is on a road trip and he won't be back until Friday. And he left on Sunday and I have to work today. So I've got lots of stuff to do before I head out to work. And enjoy your row counters and keep knitting. <laughs>